a prophetess and an evangelist, married to the most powerful king in Yoruba land. Mm. Hi guys and welcome. Welcome to Real Life with Abby. My name is Abby Mbola. If you're new to my channel, kindly subscribe. If you've already subscribed, thanks for coming back. Good to see you again. And please don't forget to turn on your notification button so you can be notified when I post new videos. So let's go straight into what we are discussing today. It's about the um, Oni of Ife. Or Ba Eni Itomba Ba Tunde Ogunu Se, the 51st Oni of Ile Ife. He's remarried. Yesterday he tweeted and said, waited patiently upon the Almighty, the King of Kings. He eventually did it in the midst of many trials. That's just a bit of the uh, tweet. That's not all of it. I just read a bit of it for you. It's uh, longer than that. And his new bride is the very beautiful, very light-skinned Naomi Shile Kuala Moronke Oluwa Shei. She is the founder of Earn Her Else Ministry in Akure Ondo State. She actually started her ministry in October 2011. Here is a clip of her praying for her church members, doing what God has called her to do. So let's just watch that clip and then we'll be back in a minute. I say your position will not be taken away. You shall be the first and not the last. and sent his angel to him. I am the angel of the Lord this moment. I am the elder of his kingdom this moment. I bring the kingdom of God down into your life. In the name of Jesus, God is in you. The great king is in you. Demons will bow down. They will worship your God. In the name of Jesus, I said they will worship Okay, so you've seen that clip of um, prophetess evangelist Naomi Shile Kuala Murunke Uluwashi praying for her congregation. Um, I would really love to know how they met, how she met the king. I I really can't because she lives in Akure. The king is obviously in Ileife. I really, really would love to know how they met. So she got married to Oba um, Enito and um, she's actually, she, the wedding ca uh, was um, in Akure and she's gone to Ife to join her husband. And I'm a bit confused really because I'm not sure how this is going to work. Here we have a prophetess and evangelist who is the new Yeyelua of Ile Ife. And the Oni has, we do know that the Oni has always stated he's a Christian, but Ile Ife is the cradle of Yoruba land and the Oni of Ife is the most powerful Oba in Yoruba land. So, how is it going to work? A prophetess and an evangelist married to the traditional ruler of Ile Ife. And um, the, the king, yes, he's a Christian, but he still has to participate in all the traditions of the land. He has to uh, participate in the festivals and um, I believe that the, those festivals are mostly to worship some other gods of the land so how exactly is a prophetess a woman of God going to um, balance the her religion her faith her calling as a prophet and an evangelist with the tradition of the land with the festivals of the land because there's a part in the bible that says you cannot serve two gods so if she's serving the almighty god will she be able to participate in all the festivals as well i don't know but i just hope that um the law will see her through i believe that if this marriage is a perfect will of god then there will be a way around it i'm not sure what you think Share your thoughts with us. Let us know what you think about this. And please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.